Hello, Capricorn. Uh, welcome to your reading for the next 48 hours. Uh, I, don't, I don't have any intuitive messages for you, so we're just going to get started with your reading. Um, I'm hearing it's pouring outside. It's pouring rain, so some of you guys could be feeling inspired by rain pour or rainwater. Uh, some of y'all may want to listen to water sounds or like the sound of rain um, that may inspire you creatively, maybe. But um, Capricorn, what do you got for Capricorn next of 48 hours? Capricorn next 48 hours. Okay, we got the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so this feels like good news for you in regards to your finances or good news for you on the work front or on the horizon of work. This feels like good news. Okay, what's the Ten of Pentacles for Capricorn? Um, there, uh, I feel like money is important for you the next the next two days, Capricorn. Money is a very important uh, topic for you or money is a focus for you the next two days, okay? So I don't know if you're just trying to focus on growing your money, if you're trying to grow like some generational wealth, if you're trying to make positive decisions for you, for yourself in the long term, but money is a focus for you. So you and Sag are on the same, uh, same timeline, same wavelength, because every Zodiac sign up until Sag and now you has had a love reading, but now it's like, I feel like money is the focus for like the last few Zodiac signs. I don't know why, but it seems like money is at the forefront. Okay. What's the Ten of Pentacles for Capricorn? I feel like some of y'all grinding because you don't want to go broke. I want money. I'm not trying to be hungry. Okay. I want to eat. I want to live. I want to shower. I want to. I want to have. A, I want to have a roof over my head. I want some clothes over my back. I want a good life. That's why money is important. I don't know. That's that's what I feel like y'all saying. Okay. What's this? What's this? Ten of Pentacles for uh, Capricorn. Next forty-eight hours. Ten of Pentacles for Capricorn. Ten of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles. Yeah, money is. I, I don't know. There's like discussions surrounding money. So I don't know if you're talking to a financial advisor, if you're talking to coworkers, but I feel like. Um, some of you guys are trying to, I don't know if you guys are working on investments or something like that, because we got the 10 minus the three. If you do that, that's the seven of pentacles, which can be a card of like investments paying off or making investments for the long term and waiting for the payout. Okay. But um, that's, I feel like you're trying to make some real change or some real moves. Like, I feel like you're trying to move this to this, to that, to that. Like you're trying to really, I feel like you're trying to make some major decisions because I feel like you're trying to see some major progress. Okay. What is this three of pentacles, three of pentacles for Capricorn? Next 48 hours, three, ten of pentacles, three of pentacles. Okay, we got ace of wands. I see you impressing somebody, Capricorn. Some of y'all, I'm getting an energy of like uh, someone that you went to college with or someone that you went to school with or if you went to trade school or you performed something one time, maybe on a stage, okay? I see you impressing the crowd or impressing somebody, maybe like an old college professor or I, f I don't know. I just feel like you're wowing somebody, like maybe with what you know or maybe someone doubted your intelligence. They're like, oh, wow, Capricorn's actually very intelligent. Capricorn knows what they're talking about. But I see you impressing the crowd. Some of y'all could be like performers or in the acts, uh, in the arts, okay, performing, performing arts. Maybe you're a performer. Someone's very, someone's very like impressed with um, your performance, with how you're doing, okay? I don't know if you guys know how to do different voices or different accents or what, but Whatever it is that you're doing, you've got a talent, you've got a knack for it, and you got the people going, wow, that something is very impressive to somebody else. Three of Pentacles. I feel like you have a natural ability, a knack for something, okay? Maybe you're just naturally creative, naturally intelligent, naturally gifted, okay? Yep, look at that. That card came out for Sag as well. Some of y'all may have Sag in your chart or be a cusper. This is your hard work paying off, okay? The efforts of your labor, your dedication, it's all paying off. Okay, this could definitely be like an apprenticeship or something that you're training for or something that you're just trying to learn or practice, like get it, get a hold of or get a handle on. Okay. Um, what is this for Capricorn? Ten of Pentacles, three of, three of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, the Magician. Let me get one more on this three of pentacles for Cap yeah something's gonna go well Capricorn I don't know if you I don't know if you got like a performance or you got like a, a a project or you have something where you have to present it in front of people but something's gonna go well you're giving something your all like something is going to go well like very well this is a result something paying off momentum quickness speed you're going in the right direction okay so something here is gonna go well. I don't know. Some of y'all could be speaking your truth, speaking your mind, and, and you're speaking it well, okay? You're resonating with people. You know, you, people are feeling it. Like, the crowd is like, yes, yes, <laughs> okay? So, I don't know, but you, you're doing something good, Capricorn. So, I want to say keep going. You're preaching to the choir. Sing, babe. Sing that gospel. Talk. Talk that talk. Yes, ma'am. Yes, Lord, okay? 
<laughs> um, what you got for Capricorn next 48 hours? What do you got for Capricorn? Okay, we got the Knight of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands for Capricorn next 48 hours? Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. I see you making note of something. Capricorn, maybe you're trying to like capitalize off of something. So like it could be a feeling. Like maybe you're trying to uh, capitalize off of some kind of emotion. Like it feels good. So some of y'all, maybe you're feeling extremely grateful. You're feeling a lot of gratitude and you're trying to figure out how to how to how to magnify that. Like how do I how do I feel this times 10 or times 20 times 50 times a thousand? Like how do I capitalize off of this emotion and make it into a business or make it into money? Or how can I make this? How can I multiply this and make and make it like triple? Like I feel like you're trying to like capitalize off of your feelings or I don't know, something, some kind of feeling that you get, like maybe resting on your laurels, maybe just feeling like you have abundance around you because you're trying to create more of this, more of this abundance, more of this independence, more of this feel good, more of this harvest, reaping like uh, reaping the rewards, okay? Good karma. You're trying to feel more of this. So I feel like some of you guys are trying to manifest, like feeling something at like a level of 10,000 or something. You're trying to expand, okay? I feel like you're really trying to grow something. What is this Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles for? We got the Hierophant. That's Taurus energy. What is this for um, Capricorn? Knight of Wands, Nine of Pentacles. For Capricorn, it's 48 hours. The Hierophant. Okay, we got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, there's that Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. Five of Cups. The Chariot. Okay. Okay, so whatever it is that you're working on, Capricorn, once again, it's reiterated that it's going to come out successful. And I feel that with the Nine of Pentacles and the Seven of Pentacles. And I kind of feel like you can feel something bubbling up underneath the surface yourself. Like you feel like uh, something's going to be successful. Okay, um, what's the Hierophant? This, this could be that you were beating yourself up for something before, like you were beating yourself up for not saying something before or for not trying something or not considering it. But now I feel like maybe you're better for something now, but you were previously like not too kind to yourself for, I don't know what this Hierophant is. What is this Hierophant for Capricorn? They were beating themselves up for this with this Hierophant. What is this? The Hierophant, the Five of Cups. Maybe because you didn't think about something before or you try to do it and it wasn't successful before or like maybe you feel like you didn't think about something sooner. Hierophant, Five of Cups. What is this that Capricorn is beating themselves up for? I don't know. I'm getting an energy Capricorn of like you calling yourself stupid or you calling yourself whatever. Like I feel like you've just been saying a lot of like un like not kind things to yourself. Like this feels like it's negative talk. I, I don't. I don't know, maybe maybe for not following convention or for not being like them or, or whoever they are, maybe like the conventional people, the religious people, or the people that follow structure and routine. It feels like you were calling yourself stupid because you weren't interested in this or blah, blah, blah. Like, I'm dumb because I don't have this or I don't have this under my belt. But like, this is you figuring out that you're intelligent in a different way. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like this feels like really negative self-talk. Like you were going, you were going off on yourself or really speaking down on yourself. Okay. Your accomplishments or whatever. What is this Hierophant for Capricorn um, that they were beating themselves up about? Hierophant, Five of Cups. They're beating themselves up about. The Nine of Swords, the Moon. For some of y'all, this could have been a rejection. This could have been like fears, anxieties, or anxiety or stress. Hierophant, Nine of Swords, and the Moon. Maybe you feel like you were not making progress or you were not making enough progress. You feel like you weren't moving forward quick enough or you put in effort and it's like you're not seeing the results that you want. So some of y'all may have thought that you were dumb for doing something or, or dumb or, or, but I feel like you're not stupid. Like something was a very smart investment and you're seeing progress for it. Or you're seeing success for it. And I'm also getting just because you don't fit some kind of mold Capricorn, like that doesn't mean that you're stupid. Maybe you're just intelligent in a different way. Everybody has different intelligences. Okay. Everybody has different intelligences. Everybody has different uh, intellect. Okay. Everybody learns or is intelligent in a different way. Okay. You can't, um, maybe a historian can quote everything from like the before, before times. Okay. But they can't tell you what, what something in calculus means. Does that mean they're stupid? No. 
It's just someone that knows calculus is someone that knows calculus. Someone that knows history is someone that knows history, okay? Can someone know both? Yeah. But that doesn't make the historian stupid if they're not a mathematician. You know, I've, what's the quote? What's the saying? Uh, something about like, I don't know. There's something about like, if you put like a monkey and like someone else in a competition, like that doesn't make the other, the, the, the other creature stupid because they don't know how to climb trees or do whatever. Like you can't judge yourself based off of some convention or some aptitude test or some whatever, some intel, like that is not, that is not who you are as a person. It's like, it's like these personality tests or like these IQ tests. And then maybe you shoot low and you're like, I'm stupid. You can't judge yourself. You can't judge yourself based off of something so black and white or conventionality feels like this is a black this it feels like this is you thinking black and white and this is like a very grayscale area kind of thing like you can't just go to extremes one or the other you know you have to consider the in between you have to consider it like that it's not either or but that you fit in the middle you fit in the mix or something i don't know but either way there's success okay there's success for you capricorn okay next two days so i love it okay i love it Hold on, let me see if I can get any more off of this. What is this? Capricorn felt that they were dumb for, or were beating themselves up about. Five of Cups, Nine of Swords, and the Moon. What is this for Capricorn? They were beating themselves up about. I'm, I'm getting the same thing. Five of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Moon. What is this for Capricorn? They were beating themselves up about this. What is this? Because I feel like you were not sure of yourself. So this could have been like low self-esteem or something. Or you may have had a hard time balancing something, finding balance or, you know, finding moderation and not going to extremes. I don't know, but that's what I got. That's what I got. This feels like it's self-sabotage. Okay, self-sabotage. But that's what I got for you, Capricorn. Okay, so that's been your reading. I hope that helps you in some way. If it resonates, I hope it provides you with some clarity. Um, thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in, I never asked y'all to leave a like, but if you want, drop a like, okay? Uh, and yeah, I'll see you guys in your next reading. Okay, goodbye Capricorn.